It was a special team. A team of 23 Division I standouts and six future NHL players. Loaded with talent, determined to win together. Ten years ago, the 2003-2004 Tri-City Storm didn't know what to expect as the season started. They returned 11 players from the previous year, a season that finished with a sub-500 record and fifth place finish in the division. But new head coach Bliss Littler brought in new players like Rostislav Spirko, Jake Obermeyer, and goalie Peter Menino to be teamed up with returning players like Bill Thomas, Tom Pohl, and Mark Van Gilder, and it proved to be a winning combination. However, despite winning their first four games of the season, the Storm struggled out of the gate. They lost several one-goal games in the first half of the year and found themselves unable to string wins together. Littler's team even lost four straight games in early January, but then, like the flip of a switch, everything changed. Tri-City reeled off 15 wins in 17 games, including a 10-game winning streak during the month of February. During that stretch, the Storm averaged 4.6 goals per game and allowed only 1.8. It was an historic run and moved them into first place in the league, and they never looked back, finishing with a record of 43-12-5, 91 points in the standings, and the Anderson Cup. Ten years ago, a group of future stars came to Kearney, Nebraska and wowed a new fan base of Storm Faithful. And Hockey in the Heartland was here to stay. Tonight, we salute this phenomenal group of young men who will always hold a special place in the hearts of all Tri-City Storm fans. extremely successful on the ice and off the ice. On the ice, they've gone on to win national championships. Some have gone on to play in the National Hockey League. Off the, off the ice, they've been equally successful. That, that year, some of the things that made it extremely fun for a coach is the kids you never had to talk about work ethic. They had great character. It was fun to come to the rink, especially on game night where if I remember correctly, we, we averaged over 4,000 screaming Tri-City Storm fans that year. Um, overall, overall, it's one of my best memories in junior hockey. <laughs> 